Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and this is an episode of What to Eat Wednesday. Hey everyone, I was sincerely debating about whether or not I should do this video for the week, but I decided that I would go ahead and do it. Um, as you can probably tell, I am down with a nasty bout of influenza A1. So, so there's that. But I wanted to get this video out to you. I apologize that it's late, but I have been absolutely, well, but Dave, Jasper, and I have all been really, really sick today, so it's about all I can do to just record this right now. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Um, in this video, you'll see everything that I ate in the last seven days on a ketogenic way of eating. These are using my fat loss macros. I will link my macros video here. These are the meals that I eat to lose weight on keto. So if that's what you're looking for, you're in the right place. And let's get to the food. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of What to Eat Wednesday. Um, this is my first meal today. So I have, I went down to my fridge and found that the kids had devoured a lot of my pre-cooked bacon and all I had was 20 grams left. So to make up for the extra protein that I choose to have in my meal, I like to get 60 gram protein for my first meal. I went ahead and had three eggs and instead of having just one ounce of fried cheese, I added an ounce of cheese into an omelet. So I had three eggs, one cheese, and another ounce of cheese. 20 grams of bacon and then on top of my omelet I added two tablespoons of Hatch Valley salsa and two tablespoons of light sour cream. Then over here I have one cup of 0% Greek yogurt. This is the Phage or Faye brand. I like the Phage brand because it's very creamy and it has a lot of protein. It has no fat and so it raises my protein levels without taking away all of my fats because I like to preserve a lot of my fats for dinner, my second meal. And this is what I sweeten my yogurt with. It is Mio Water Enhancer. This is the lemonade flavor. There's lots of different flavors that I like, but this one is one of my favorites. And that's gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it's Wednesday night and I am having one of my favorites. This is uh, an Italian chicken dish, but it's super easy to make. Um, we just cooked some spaghetti squash in the microwave for eight minutes. You can see that down here. It's 155 grams of cooked spaghetti squash, six ounces of chicken breast, and we just cut it up into bite-sized pieces to make it cook faster, cook it on the stove with a little olive oil, two ounces of provolone cheese, and one half cup, which is one serving of Rao's, R-A-O, Rao's marinara sauce. And that is one of my most filling and most satisfying meals. It's very, very tasty. And that's gonna be my last meal of the day. All right, everyone, it's Thursday. I'm here at Commonwealth School, and you can see how I brought my basic breakfast along with me. I have two boiled eggs, 44 grams of center cut bacon, one ounce of mozzarella cheese, and one cup of 0% Faye Greek yogurt sweetened with orange vanilla meal. And that's gonna be my first meal of the day. All right, everyone, it's Thursday night, and tonight I am having a New York strip steak. This is an eight ounce, or I know, seven ounce New York strip steak, and one cup of zucchini and yellow squash mix that's cooked up a little with a little bit of olive oil. Um, I had to keep the fats low tonight so no cheeses or sauces. Um, picked a medium fat meat so that I could still eat something that was really tasty because I chose to eat those keto peanut butter cookies earlier today and also a handful about an ounce of almonds that I had um, when my girls were having like a little um, snack. So also, um, I accidentally, and I do mean accidentally, ate a probably 20, 20 grams, I don't know, or so of a pickle that I thought was safe because she said they were spicy pickles. Well, I took one bite and I knew the pickle was coated in sugar and that was like four carbs <laughs> for a piece of pickle. Oh, I was freaking mad. I was mad for not checking the thing it's it's my fault I should have checked it I didn't think about pickles ever having anything in it so whoopsie and my stomach has not been happy ever since I ate that piece of pickle my stomach is like really really bad shape it's not feeling good so I'm hoping that this good old steak of veggies is gonna hit the spot and it's gonna be my last meal of the day Alrighty everyone, it's Friday and I actually was planning on making a breakfast sandwich with 90 second bread. I've never done that and I saw 
Um, two plus three, the channel two plus three, the mom was making it and I just got a bee in my bonnet and I thought, I have all the ingredients for 90 second bread and I've never made it. And I should totally make that today and make myself a breakfast sandwich. And then I came downstairs and went freaking on autopilot and made myself my typical breakfast without even thinking. So I'm going to try maybe tomorrow and see if I can make some of that 90 second bread. Um, Keto Christina swears by it all. She has it quite often and um, I just thought it would make a, a good change for, you know, occasional type thing. But anyway, this is what I'm having for my first meal. So today I'm having 48 grams of bacon. I had a question today, actually it was yesterday, um, of why my bacon amounts keep changing. And so I thought I should probably explain that. So I cook four pieces usually every single day, four pieces of bacon. The more you cook the bacon, the more crispy it is, the less it will weigh because you basically have cooked off a lot more of the fat. Um, so I like mine exactly like this where it's just a little bit – like it moves. It's not completely stiff, but it's not like liquidy or – you know what I mean? Like raw. I like it somewhere in between crispy, but I don't always do it right, and so I weigh it every single time just to make sure. Also, this particular package of bacon that we bought, this big, we bought a big, like, 15-pound package of bacon, the bacon is not cut the same. Half of the slices are teeny tiny, and half of them are big, and so it's just kind of made things different with my bacon. It used to be I would have 44 grams exactly every single day, no matter what I did, and then lately, it's like it's gone from 20 to 52. So today it's 48. That's what I do is I weigh it after I cook it because that's what the package recommends and then I put it in my chronometer and then I adjust my dinner to meet the macros depending on where I'm at with it. So I guess that kind of makes sense. And this is an ounce of cheese and I completely burned the heck out of it today. I don't know. Whoopsie. But yeah, two fried eggs, one ounce of cheese, fried and then 48 grams of center cut bacon. Also my typical yogurt I eat every single day. 0% phage or phage Greek yogurt with lemonade, mio, water enhancer. I think I showed that on this video. I hope I showed this that on this video because I can't remember. And I have a big cup of Creo Brew and I haven't talked about that on this video so I thought I would do that. This is Creo Brew. Um, I don't drink coffee for religious reasons, but in the winter and fall, I like to have something warm. I drink a lot of herbal tea sweetened with liquid stevia. This is the brand of liquid stevia that I work, that I use. It is the best, has the best flavor. It is perfect for liquid drinks, for drinks and things like that. And even I sweeten sometimes heavy whipping cream with it and just whip it, whip it up. And I use it in a lot of things. And so I always have it on hand. And then Creo Brew is roasted cocoa beans. You can buy it on creobrew.com or on Amazon. I am lucky, lucky it's a Utah company. And so, of course it is because they're always Utah companies, I swear. But yeah, it's a Utah company and I can buy it in several local grocery stores, which is what we do. But it is literally just cocoa beans ground up and... We, you just brew it like you brew coffee. And then I put in a little bit of half and half. I use two tablespoons in this huge giant cup. And I only use one serving. So one serving of this is one and a half carbs. And I'm only using one serving of the, the grounds to make this huge entire cup. It's meant to only make like half that. But it seems to taste pretty good to me that way. So I only count one serving when I'm doing it. I don't know if that's exactly right. But it does have one and a half carbs per serving. Um, for basically 12, 12 grams, I think, of this stuff. So that is what going to be my first meal of the day on this lovely, relaxing Friday. Hello, everyone. It's Friday night, and I am having stuffed chicken breast tonight. So Chef Dave made this with Parmesan crust on the outside, and inside he's got one piece or one ounce of Applegate natural ham and an ounce of Swiss cheese. Then I have 12 spears of asparagus and 4 tablespoons of heavy whipping cream with lemonade meal just whipped up so that I can meet my fat macro for the day. That's going to be my last meal of the day.
Anyway, my mug is too tall or too skinny because that looks awfully tall. Hey everyone, it's Saturday night and I am having a 10 ounce New York strip steak with about 12 spears of asparagus. That's going to be my last meal of the day. Alright, as requested, spaghetti squash. Wish me luck. Okay, so this is what I do. Hopefully I push the knife toward me. Okay, I need to turn this off for a sec. Voila! Just like that. Like that. I use this to feed my chickens. Then you need a glass plate. I like to put a tiny little dab of water on the plate to kind of steam it. But I don't think Chef Dave does that when he makes it. And it tastes great when he makes it too, so I don't know. And then you just put it on the plate like this so that the skin is on the outside at up facing up and then I just pop it in the microwave for eight minutes before they put the spaghetti squash in I actually put some chicken in to deep to thaw out in the microwave and then I slice it up into little strips put salt and Montreal steak seasoning on it and plopped it in the pan with a tiny 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 bit of bacon grease it's not a lot it's maybe a quarter of a tablespoon a tiny tiny bit All right, be careful, it's really, really hot. Um, you can tell it's done because when you squeeze the back of it, it like squishes in. So squeeze it, flip it over, and then you just need a fork to sh kind of shred it out. And I just shred it out like that. It makes little strips. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, so once I have it like this, then I take it off the plate put the plate on my scale can I just say I love this scale I got it from we got it from Harbor Flight Freight this is the kind of scale we had a while back that was for like a postal scale oh my gosh you guys this is so much better than any of the frou-frou scales we've tried using it's the best it is the most accurate okay I don't want it on ounces let's tear it again because I had that underneath it Okay, and I'm going to switch the mode to grams because I want to measure out 155 grams because that's how much cooked spaghetti squash is for a cup on my chronometer. So, let's see if I can do this with one hand. And I just start putting it on and weighing it in grams. Alright, there we have it, 155 grams. And you can see there's not much left because that's basically about how much it is in one half of a regular sized spaghetti squash. And there you have it. That's how I cook my spaghetti squash. Next, I'm gonna put the chicken on top, put the cheese on top of that, and then I'm gonna melt the cheese. I'm gonna show you how I do that, and then I'm gonna add the sauce. And I don't put any butter on my spaghetti squash, so you can if you track it. I just choose not to, because I don't really need it. Um, I put on a little salt before I put the chicken on, and then I'm gonna lay, this is one ounce of mozzarella. These are thin slices. And then I just put over the top a plate. Oh, it's dirty from the stove, but. I put a paper plate over the top and that just kind of lets the chicken melt the cheese for a minute. Alrighty, so this is my sauce. I use Rao's homemade um, sauce. There's multiple different ones. I like this one because it's spicy, the rabiata is spicy. But you can see on the back there's four total carbs and three sugars, one protein. So four total carbs for um, a half cup. It's pretty decent. Um, that's probably the lowest carb count sauce you're going to find out there and I do use one that's why this meal is in particular is rather carby because I do the four carbs from this and there's eight carbs eight net carbs in the spaghetti squash so that does end up adding to a lot but it's all vegetable carbs so I don't stress over it so badly so what I do is is I put my half cup measure on the scale and then tear it out then I'll pour the sauce into there and set it back down and it'll tell me the amount of sauce that I'm actually using. 
So you can see that a serving size is 125, but this actually ends up 120. I like to just heat mine up in the chicken pan, but Dave, he microwaves it. I prefer not to microwave it because I don't like microwaving my chicken. So I just heat it up in the, in the pan. So I am literally just heating this up in the pan, but then I get all the chicken flavoring out of the bottom there from the chicken that's cooked on. And then I'm just gonna, when it's heated up to my liking, I just will pour it over the top of my chicken. Cheese is all nicely melted. Woo, so steamy. I will scrape the rest of that out, but that's it. That's how we create this little spaghetti squash chicken. So you can do Parmesan cheese crusted on it and it would be even better. Um, I usually do two ounces of cheese, but I'm doing one because this is my breakfast. So anyway, they, that's how I do it. All right, and so just a recap, I have 155 grams of spaghetti squash, 5.75 ounces of chicken breast, one ounce of part skim mozzarella cheese, and one half cup of Rouse marinara, and that's gonna be my first meal of the day. All right, everyone, it's Sunday night, and I realized that my first meal of the day, my fats were too low because I didn't do my bacon, and, and I did too little cheese. I thought I did, I was supposed to do two ounces of cheese, and I only did one. And apparently Dave has planned a fairly low fat dinner. We are going to be having top round roast. And so as I'm waiting for Dave to finish up the round roast, I decided I was going to just get my fats in right now. I'm feeling extremely hungry, probably because I didn't get enough fat for my first meal. So this is just five tablespoons of heavy whipping cream whipped up with one ounce of cream cheese and a little bit of lemonade Mio water enhancer. It's kind of like a little mini cheesecake bomb. And that's what I'm gonna have for um, the beginning of my second meal of the day. And I will record when I have my roast beef as soon as it's done. All right, everyone, it's Sunday night and I finally have my delicious meal. I have eight ounces of top rounds roast 150 grams or I think it's 155 grams of cauliflower rice with a little bit of xanthan gum gravy and a cup of green beans with salt. That's going to be my last meal of the day. Hello everyone, it's Monday and this is going to be my first meal of the day. I really missed this yesterday. My stomach did not like me that I didn't have yogurt. It does that to me every time I don't have it pretty much. So back to my basic breakfast, two fried eggs, 40 grams of center cut bacon, one ounce of cheese fried in a pan, one cup of 0% faye Greek yogurt sweetened with lemonade and mio. That's gonna be my first meal of the day. Hey everyone, it's Monday night and I am having this delicious meal that Chef Dave helped me to make. I am having a stuffed chicken breast with ham and Swiss and Parmesan on top and four of these little zucchini crisp um, tots that we made from the First for Women magazine recipe. If that recipe is up, I will try and link it in this video. And then one half cup of Rouse marinara to dip those in. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Hello my friends, it's Tuesday and this is my first meal of the day. It's just my basic breakfast that I have every day. Two eggs, one ounce of cheese. Um, one cup of 0% yogurt, and also this is 52 grams of bacon today because that's how much it weighed out. And that's going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it's Tuesday night and Chef Dave still made this delicious dinner for me even though he is really, really sick, so that was very nice of him. I have 155, 155 grams of spaghetti squash, and on top of that, 2 ounces of cream cheese. And then six ounces of chicken, two ounces of mozzarella cheese, and one half cup of Rao's Arrabbiata marinara. That's going to be my last meal of the day. So there you have it. Everything I ate this week um, to lose weight on a keto. I hope that I give you some ideas on getting started on your own keto meal plan. Don't forget to check out our Facebook group in the, the About section below. There's the link down there um, for more information on how you can get started. All of the information is free and available in the pinned post in our Facebook group. Don't forget we also have a Teespring store with super cute merchandise and I have a Patreon account. And as of this next weekend, all of my Patreons will be able to get my bonus videos, which are my recipes and my Tammy's Tidbits videos. Um, one day before everyone else so you get a special perk by supporting a channel and 
When you take the chance to become a Patreon and help support me, that makes it so that I can get better equipment, so that we can do more recipes, so that we can keep this channel going and that it doesn't become a burden on our family. So we appreciate all the support that we can get. If you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on how you can get started on a ketogenic way of life and to become friends because that's what we are here. And I'm so grateful for all of you for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll talk to you again soon.